Do you need to shave before you go in to have your baby? So many people have asked me that question. Usually it's with a whisper, but today we're gonna to talk all about it. Hillary. I am the pregnancy nurse and I'm the curly head behind the website Pulling Curls. I am also the creator of the online prenatal class for couples. Here at the pregnancy nurse, we aim to prepare you from bump to bassinet for your confident collaborative birth. That's what I know that you are looking for. Today we are talking about shaving during pregnancy. It's actually one of my most popular website posts and I know that a lot of people have this question and are probably very excited to hear what I have to say. If you are interested in information that shares the secrets behind the delivery room, go ahead and like this video and subscribe so that YouTube knows you are interested in getting prepared for your upcoming birth. Okay, let's talk about shaving during pregnancy. First off, it's just like a whole new thing when your belly gets in front of you. Like it's just so much harder to shave all the areas of you while you are pregnant. Now, shaving during pregnancy has three things that are kind of different. First off, like we said, it is hard to reach all of those things, right? Second of all, your body has all of this extra blood in it to help feed and grow a baby. And as that, if you were to nick or do something with the razor, it can be worse. You will bleed more, it could be more irritating and just more annoying because of all of that extra blood flow that you have in your body. Third thing is that your hormones have made everything just kind of crazy in your body. I know you know what that means, but it also means that skin might be more sensitive, that's due to hormones and increased blood flow, and it just may not react the same way as it did before you got pregnant. Okay, let's talk about some ways to shave. Now, this is not medical advice, this is just some ideas between two girlfriends here. First off, be careful, because as I said before, if you nick yourself while you were pregnant, you're just gonna bleed a lot more and it's gonna look like psycho in your bathtub. So just be careful, make sure that you're using a high quality razor and lots of however you use things to kind of lube things up to shave. Make sure you're using lots of those different kinds of things. Now, it may come to a point where you can't reach the areas that you wanna shave. So there are a couple of different options. You can, one, use a mirror if you're not able to see the areas where you want to shave. And secondly, you could use your partner. They got you pregnant, they can definitely shave your legs. It is a skill that anyone can learn. I've seen lots of male nurses shave people, so it's something that they could totally help out with as well. Okay, there are a couple of times that you definitely do not want to shave. If you have a lot of irritation in that area, and I'm mostly talking about the downtown. You don't wanna shave during that point. If you have like varicose veins down there or it's extra itchy or burning or those different kinds of things, do not be shaving down there during that time because it's just gonna cause more irritation. Also, if you're getting a lot of UTIs, that hair down there a lot of times protects your body from getting urinary tract infection. So. If you're getting lots of UTIs, you might wanna consider not shaving down there. Getting more UTIs isn't unusual during pregnancy, so it could be really common, but it would be a reason to maybe consider not shaving the lady bits. And finally, the big question that everyone wants to know about, does the staff care if you are shaved down there? Look at rhymes. <laughs> no. Not at all. You have to realize that we are seeing lots of different patients from lots of different cultures. It does not bother us at all. Um, you have to realize that nurses in general have seen so many different things and all, it's just, it doesn't bother us at all. So definitely do what makes you the most comfortable down there. Definitely don't be afraid to go to a doctor's appointment if you haven't shaved or to come into the hospital if you feel ungroomed. We don't care. So that's maybe the best news of all for you come to the hospital. We mostly want you to have a safe, confident delivery. We're happy to help you however you come to the hospital. So if you like this video and you're looking for more secrets behind the delivery room door, go ahead and like this video and please subscribe. It really helps my channel grow. Um, I think I have really high quality videos and a lot of times people comment that and then they're like, I'm surprised your channel's not bigger and it's because people don't like and subscribe and I get it, but if you could do it, it would really help me out. I think you're also gonna like some of these upcoming videos as well. <laughs>